so transparent that those with trained eyes could see right through it. This is former military policeman Paul Stott, employed late on by the accident group as part of a small team to see if fraudulent claims were being made. His conclusions are as amazing as some of the claims. So how many of the 1500 sales force did he think were making up claims? Um, it runs into the hundreds. There were that many cases outstanding. Um, I'd say a, a very conservative estimate, around about 200. And we're talking 200 people who were making up, suspected of making up fraudulent claims. Indeed. Overall, of these 200 people, how many cases might each of them have generated which were suspicious? It would depend on the length of time that they were employed by the company. What I can tell you is that in a number of instances with the people that I've dealt with, um, from the day that they started until the day that their activities were um, brought under the, uh, the umbrella of a, an investigatory procedure, that every single claim they wrote was fraudulent. On a daily basis, having been targeted for either 4.7 or 4 claims, each of those claims would be false.